My name is Kevin Brenner and I am a board certified plastic and reconstructive surgeon. My medical education began with medical school at Loyola University in Chicago. I then did a general surgery residency at Rush University and Cook County Hospitals, and then came back out to California for plastic surgery residency at UC Irvine. My practice is very patient focused, and I am very involved from start to finish in their care. And from the minute of their initial phone call all the way through when they're done seeing me and follow up, I'm overseeing their care. We decided to create the breast team of breast specialists to help our patients with the pre and post operative process. I really count on the other members of our breast team to really help them with their healing journey after the surgery is all done. So the three things that I would recommend to any patient who thinks that she may have breast implant illness is number one, do your due diligence. You wanna make sure that you're being taken care of by a surgeon as well as a support staff who has experience dealing with breast implant illness. Number two, any symptoms that you may be having, they need to be evaluated, they need to be worked up. Go see your primary care doctor or whatever specialist might be necessary to make sure that whatever symptoms you're having isn't a sign of something more sinister. And number three is trust your instinct. I've heard from so many patients who think that they may have breast implant illness, bring it up to one doctor, get told that they're crazy or that there's nothing wrong, and then just sort of give up on their healing journey. When if they had just persevered and just listened to their gut, they would have made it into an office like ours and gotten taken care of. In my practice, I do a lot of fat grafting, natural fat transfer. Essentially what that is, is I do a special type of liposuction, low pressure, because we want the fat to survive as opposed to when someone comes in for liposuction and we just end up discarding the fat. Fat can be gold in some people, so we like to save it and preserve as much as possible. So we'll do the liposuction, process it sterilely in the operating, and then in the case of breast patients, we will re-inject that into the breast. The technique that I like the best for breast lift surgery is one of the superior based techniques. And what that means is when you're rearranging the breast tissue, we dissect the breast so that the blood flow is maintained from above. The reason I like that, number one, it's a very safe way to do it. Number two is it allows me to maintain the upper pole tissue because a lot of women will still maintain upper pole tissue even if they don't have a lot of tissue on the lower half of their breast. The third reason is it really opens up my options in terms of how I can recreate and reshape the lower portion of the breast. Oftentimes when I'm doing this, patients already have a lot of sagging to the breast tissue. So we'll move the nipple complex up and reshape the breast and then that low sagging tissue that maybe some surgeons may just get rid of, I'll take that and actually use that to help re-augment the breast with their own tissue. For anyone who may be suffering, who doesn't know what's going on, they need to know that help is available and that they can come in, we'll listen to them, figure out what's going on and do whatever we can to make them feel better. The truth is, is that I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't see my patients getting better from surgery.